Hey folks, Carl Schuff here from creativecodingclub.com and today I want to walk you through this really neat effect that I've been playing with, all right? It's going to be my first series of lessons for 2024, but I just want to show you how it sort of started and how it progresses to be a single animation to a fully scroll-driven experience, all right? And what I like about little videos like this is that you get to see my creative process and you also get to see a little bit about the power of code, all right, and how we can use it creatively to do all the heavy lifting for us, all right? So this isn't a full tutorial. It's more of a little behind the scenes peek. It's something that I hope gets you really excited. Let's get going. The first step is always coming up with some very basic HTML and CSS. Here you'll see I'm using duplicate heading one tags, and that's pretty much all I've got. Step two is going to be to break them up into individual characters using GSAP's split text. I have some CSS in here that puts a border around each individual character once it's broken apart. In step three, I'll add some GSAP timeline code so that I can animate each set of characters independently. I'll use GS Dev tools here so that I can scrub through the animation and see exactly what is happening. Ah, beautiful. In step four, we'll tweak the CSS and JavaScript so that our text appears in 3D space and it's rotating in 3D as well. In step five, we'll address the fact that this text on top can still be seen. And if we go back to the very beginning, you'll see that we can see the text on the bottom here before it animates in. Not necessarily what I want right now. So we'll do a few more tweaks and clean things up. And that looks so much nicer. When I go back to the beginning, we only see the text in the front. And when we go to the end, the text on top disappears. Beautiful. Now it's time to make things more dynamic. We're going to get rid of the duplicate heading one tag and use JavaScript to duplicate it for us. Now we have cleaner HTML and the same great result. So now that we can dynamically create this effect for one header, I can use HTML like this with three headers, lean on the power of a JavaScript loop, and now we have multiple items that are spinning into place using the exact same settings. This is the true power of creative coding with GSAP and JavaScript. And as a final step, we'll hook everything up to scroll trigger so that these effects animate in and out based on the scroll position of the page, all right? I can start, reverse as I'm scrolling up and down or just go fast and do all of them in both directions. And of course, effects like this would be nothing if they weren't fully responsive. Notice that the text can scale up and we still get the same great effect at full screen. And if you were to shrink down to like a mobile size, no problem, it still works great and looks stunning. Awesome. All right, folks, hope you enjoyed that little tour of my creative process, all right? I want you to see how I build these lessons up from something very simple to something a little bit more complex, all right? Now, what I covered here in just about two minutes, I'm probably gonna cover in about 40 minutes to an hour of multiple videos, all right? Going into all the details of the steps, what works, what doesn't work, why you should do this and not that so that you get the best result possible from your work, all right? It takes a lot to set up things to be responsive, get scroll trigger working the right way, make sure the 3D stuff works. It's really quite a lot, but I would love for you to download the single version of this effect, study it, have some fun with it, and if you wanna learn the full-blown thing, check out creativecodingclub.com. I'm gonna go through all this in detail. And although we rely on some fairly advanced techniques here, all of my courses are packed with over 250 lessons worth of background information that I can always reference and you can go through slowly, okay? So check out creativecodingclub.com and discover the joy of animating with code.